Hello, in this demo we will see how to start Visual C Sharp Express Edition that you can find free on Microsoft website and we will see how to write a new C Sharp program using Visual C Sharp. To write a C Sharp program using Visual C Sharp I need to start Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition. Now I'll be writing my C Sharp program using console application. Like a console application is nothing but an application which works on black and white screen. So console application, I need to start. So I'll say file, new project. So to learn C Sharp, we'll be learning it on console application. Now I'll select console application, which is which has got selected by default. Now I'll name it as my first app. I'll say OK. So it is going to start a new C Sharp program file for me. In fact, that is a project, separate project. Now in our earlier video, we have seen writing C Sharp program in a notepad. Now here we are going to write our program using Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition. Now this is nothing but our IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Microsoft Visual C Sharp is nothing but Integrated Development Environment. So in this IDE I can write my program from the same window I can compile it and from the same window I can execute it, I can test it and I can perform many other tasks from the same window. I can debug it. You know, anyway, in our future classes we will be looking into that very soon. Now, if we see, we got a file called as program.cs. So in this program file, we got few namespaces by default. Like we have seen in our earlier video, we were writing using system. Whereas here we got it by default. We were writing the complete program structure, class, class name, static, void, main, and all these things. So I got the program structure by default. Now what is namespace, what is class, what is static, what is void, all these things we will be covering in our future videos. Now let us concentrate in this area, like you know, open bracket of this met method and close bracket of this method. Now, as of now you think that main is the method like you know in our earlier video we have written it in our notepad main is the method from where execution starts now i want to display a message say hello world so i'll write console if i write con automatically i'll get the list of classes starting with con so this is nothing but our intellisense we call it as intellisense now if i press tab i'll get the class name now i'll say console dot right line. So if I press dot after console I'll get the list of method which are present in that console class. So anyway I'll be using right line so I'll just press tab. Now open bracket I'll write the message hello world I'll put a semicolon. Now that's it. I have written a simple program which displays hello world. Now I want to execute it. So in our earlier video we have seen we were, there were two steps. One I need to compile it to generate an exe then I need to execute that exe. Here I have a green play button. Press this both the things will happen automatically. Now if you observe it has displayed the result hello world and your output window has got disappeared automatically. Now why? Why because we haven't asked our system to wait for us to watch the output. So we haven't asked that. So what is it I'll do? After writing console.writeline, I'll just write a single statement saying that console.readline. What does this method perform? As writeline method writes something to the output window in the same way readline method try to read something from the output window. That means your cursor will be waiting for you to give some input. Now what is that we will do? Instead of giving any input, we will read the output or we will try to observe the output whatever we get. 
so that our output window will be waiting for us same thing we used to do in our c program if you remember using get ch get character we used to write the last statement as get character it is quite similar to that that is console dot read line now i'll just press f5 to execute this now if you observe our output is hello world and it is waiting for us to give some input now i won't give any input i'll just press enter so that's it this is very simple c sharp program using our microsoft visual c sharp 2008 express edition thank you very much